Great Danes says, I love your help. I don't feel like I can proceed without reading black law, dictionary, and courtroom etiquette books. My kuleana to that is, if you choose, you can apply for workshops at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. Please include your full correct name. And then in turn, they say, I don't have that time. I'm trying to get an innocent person, family member out of prison. Even if I learned this, I don't think I could explain it to a judge. Well, then why are you here? Why take the time to do this? Were you fishing for me to offer you to, oh, whatever I can do to help you, just let me know. I'll fly out to wherever you are and give you everything for free. We'll take care of it. Bam. Nah, that's not how it works. Anyways, my kuleana is, if that is your current mental state, i.e., perhaps one of stress and anxiety due to time, then you are probably correct. It takes thousands of hours to learn correct sentence structure and thousands more to develop the skill to articulate it under duress. That's why so few folks learn it, but also why it's 100% successful for those who do actually learn it. So if for you folks out there, that's why I'm sharing this comment here in this comments video. If that's your attitude, that you just don't have the time to learn it, well, you're probably right, because you probably don't. If that's your mindset, you're entrapped in the fiction system mindset of deadlines and things like that, then it's probably a good idea for you not to do this, because this is something that takes commitment. It takes gumption. It takes fortitude intestinal fortitude it takes heart courage and those things are not inherent in someone who's stressed out like this they're just looking for a quick fix um and you know i'm not downplaying any situation that they're in at all because i know the fiction legal system is horrible horrible atrocities occur here's the thing each and every individual, such as nine Great Danes, is accountable for themselves. And also the individual innocent person family member is also accountable for themselves that they're referring to. So everybody has to make their own choice to cultivate their knowledge or not. And two things about correct sentence structure, communication, parsley, syntax, grammar that I know to be true. Number one. There's plenty of now space to get, number two, the closure that you want. But if you limit yourself coming out the gate just like this individual did, well then, they're right. Why bother? Wise decision by nine great dangs. Next comment comes from Matthew Schreiner. And they say, you seem really angry. Nothing to be happy about? Negative energy in your tone in response to questions. And then they do this. That's hilarious. Uh, my kuleana to that is seem being the key word. You are welcome to your opinions, perceptions, regardless of how far from reality they are. Which is pretty, pretty much the way it is here. That's how that individual perceives me. Just like anybody else, I have good days and bad days. Some days my conveyance may be a little bit more sharp in tone. But I think I do a fairly good job at maintaining a balance and a consistency. I don't really treat anyone any differently than anyone else unless they bring a certain type of energy. So if someone brings on angry energy, negative energy, and things like that, well, then I probably give back the same type of energy for rule one, rule equal. But then again, sometimes I also give back positive energy for rule one, rule equal. 
And most times, if you really look at what I say, I'm actually giving so many chances to folks to turn around their attitudes or whatever it is they're doing, cultivate humility, and join back into whatever we're doing here in this community. But most folks don't get that, and they just get butt hurt and run away. Next comment comes from Ked KD. Oh my goodness, look at that uh, profile picture. That's very interesting. They say, LOL, this video, just the first 15 mins, you can easily gather the information that this man is just totally hating the whole entire video. SMFH. And then my kuleana is, LOL, so many sensitive types in the quantum grammar domain these days. If I criticize grammar, they start crying like they took their mommy and daddy away from them. LOL, OL, OL. This is what I'm talking about. Last comment, this is a perfect uh, example of returning the energy for rule one, rule equal. And that's, uh, you know, coming from usually the Colon Russell hyphen J. Cola Gould sector, his cult followers and true believers. If I criticize their grammar, they think I'm hating because I'm pointing out the mistakes and errors in their grammar. They think I'm hating. I don't think I ever personally insult any of them, like name call or anything like that. Those particular people in instances when I'm auditing grammar. I don't think I've ever done that. If I have, I welcome the, uh, the proof of that because I don't think I have. I just concentrate on the grammar or try to, to the best of my ability and skill. And uh, they take it like it's, it's a personal attack. So goes to show where their head is. Next comment comes from Dermo, and they say, You're correct, pal. I've watched everything on War Castles and knew something wasn't right. And fair play to yourself for calling it out. Especially about charging people for such info to allegedly free themselves. It's 25 years on now, and I'm still waiting to see actual evidence of him, meaning Russell J. Gould, getting anything across the line, and it's the same fear that feckin' Egypt Mark Christopher. Keep it up, mate. Well, Dermo, I appreciate the comment. I appreciate the sentiment. And, hey, I'm right there with you, along with uh, lots of other folks. 25 years, still waiting to see, you know, quote-unquote, hasn't the chief been coming for 25 years? <laughs> that's a long time to be coming, bro. I'll tell you what, that's... Whew. But if you check out that other video, that short I posted, I guess we have no choice. He's just going to keep coming and coming. Whether he ever arrives or not, that, that remains to be seen. 25 years he ain't here. I mean, uh, if I had to place a wager, I personally would wager on Jesus coming back before Russell. But that's me. I'm not a gambling person, so. Thanks for the comment. A comment from Dennis Thompson. They say, hello, Jason. This, or, I'm sorry. Hello, Jason. The video you talked about with Russell, the first couple of second, he walks up to the cameraman and they start talking. It sounds like Mark. Would I be right in thinking that? Uh, Dennis. While I have you here. I just want to tell you, I think you're trying to write your autograph, print your autograph in correct sentence structure. I'll tell you how to do it. Put a colon, put the D in Dennis tied up against the colon with no space, put Dennis hyphen Michael, then put a colon tied up against the L, no space, and then a space after the colon, then Thompson, then period. That's how you would do that. 
Um, you're 100% correct. If you're talking about the six or so hour seminar that Russell did by himself, Mark Lowercase K. Kishon Christopher is in the audience. Uh, he was once a student of Russell's, to put it loosely. His name, his <laughs> autograph is on the quantum media treaty that Russell and those folks in that room and that seminar created that day. Check it out. Uh, that was from what, 2014? So Mark autographed on that piece of paper, colon, Mark, hyphen, lowercase k, Kishon, colon, space, Christopher. He autographed over a stamp on the quantum media treaty during that seminar. I've seen the, the paper evidence of that. Russell didn't say one word about a lowercase k back then in 2014. He only said anything about the lowercase k in the middle name after the hyphen after Colin David Ivan Will and Kohler Miller passed away and after Marcus Sean Christopher began challenging Russell for, I guess, leadership of the unity states of whatever they're doing. So it's my personal perception that Russell pretty much just said anyone with a lowercase letter in, in the first letter of their middle name after the hyphen they come from Marcus Sean Christopher, therefore they're not correct, and therefore they better stop and correct their name. And that's how he weeded out those people. And I actually was involved in that because I wrote to him, and at the time I did have a lowercase m in Matthew in my middle name. And he did point it out to me, even though in 2017 I wrote him emails and I autographed my name with the lowercase m. He never said one word to me about it until after David passed away in 2018, the summer solstice, and after he began having static with Marcus Sean Christopher. Then and only then, he pointed it out, and suddenly it was an issue. And then suddenly I, you know, I had to figure out, well, what's going on here? So I asked him, why is it incorrect? And he wouldn't tell me. All he said was, it's judge mechanics. Do some more studying. So he, instead of giving me simple closure, he told me to study more, which I did. And so I reasoned it out. I used logic and said, well, rule one, rule equal. What happens on the port side of the, co of the hyphen has to happen on the starboard side of the hyphen. So it only makes sense. And that's how I figured it out. I corrected my name and... We're all good, or I'm all good. But anyways, long story short, Mark's in there. Uh, also, you will find other members of the what we now call the Syntax Learning Center, which used to be called the Quantum Community, which used to be called the Red Thumb Club. They revenue themselves all the time. You will find members of those uh, groups in there, like uh, I think Mari Shapka's in there. Gordon Schiller might be in there. Muriel Meta Biggs might be there. I can't think of, off the top of my head other folks who might be there, but it's a, it's a great piece of correct sentence structure history as well as a great uh, repository of postal shipping and banking uh, mechanics. Next comment comes from C.D. Mesker, and they say, for this claimant's knowledge of the, and then they put colon, Russell hyphen communication. So in correct sentence structure, there are two position loadial fact phrases in front of the verb. This individual has put three. Not only that, they have put either a for the or a by the before the verb. Now there can only be one for the before the verb, one cause. And in this case, it's for this claimant's knowledge. But the way they have this written, it would read something like for this claimant's knowledge, of the, by the, because they put the colon in front of the R, tied up against it. So it can't be for the, so it has to be by the, but it's not by the, because there can only be two positional loading fact phrases in front of the verb, so this is not correct sentence structure at all. This is adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble. And then they say is with the same mean and same happening, 
by, and then they put by of the Cynthia, period. Again, this is not correct sentence structure, and there are particles of negation in the fact such as happening, the ing is a particle of negation, means no. I think that's the only particle of negation in the facts, though. But uh, anyways, hope that helps someone or anyone who wants to get closure on this grammar. Next comment comes from James Vigil, and they say, Have you noticed all these Christian religions were all started by Masons, even the New Order Church of Vatican II? Outside of the Catholic Church, there is no salvation. My coolion to that is, no, I hadn't noticed, and I'm not sure how you could possibly certify and prove such a claim. Would you please share your proof? Thank you. Of course, they didn't share anything. When I ask folks for proof, they don't have it. They make a claim, but they do not feel obligated to back up that claim with anything, with any evidence. And, um, but I do understand what they're saying here. I mean, I've read similar theories, but again, going back to the checks and balances 10, which you can check that out if you want to, I go over the terms and conditions of this channel and I put them up on the screen for you to see. There is no doubt in my mind that James Vigil hasn't bothered to read them. Next comments come from Watachi6558. And they say, why would you watch a clown of Satan's? A clown of Satan's. Is that like a group of Satan's? Like more than one Satan or what? That's kind of weird. And then they say, wrong. You think I care about what you have to say. Thanks for telling me what I think. You must be a psycho. Or, I mean, a psychic. Who are you? <laughs> well, as I've said in a couple other videos, Wadachi, if you would like me to put you on my lap, give you a bib, and spoon feed you data, since you are, I guess, not capable of doing the work yourself, you can't simply just go onto my YouTube channel and click the about section and read all about me. You can't bother to watch one or two of the other 900 videos on this channel and maybe come to your own conclusions. I mean, are you asking for a correct name? That's pretty easy to find. It's in the description of every video. It's actually the frickin' name of the channel. So, I mean, I don't know what else I can do. I'm, I am a tutor. I teach grammar, but I'm not a special needs tutor. All right. I don't have experience with those with special needs. And it sounds like that may be uh, what's going on here. So they said, I have done more, seen more, and been a part of more than you can even fake. Hmm. That must be part of that... Uh, clairvoyant uh, psychic ability that this individual is implying that they have because how could they even possibly know that they don't even know who I am they just said who are you they don't know who I am but they're assuming you know they're putting themselves above me so that tells me something about them <laughs> so grow up only a fool will listen to another fool You might want to read that back to yourself there, Wadachi. Prove what you are with your words. I'm waiting. Well, I hope you have patience because you obviously don't know anything about correct sentence structure. I don't think you probably don't have any volition to learn anything about correct grammar. I'm not sure why you're here or what your volition is other than troll. So that's the category I'm going to put you in, Wadachi Troll. Thank you very much for the entertainment and for the laughs. It was great. Final comment comes from Topped G, and they say, Hi, I very much appreciate you for sharing this, but 
I would very much appreciate a step-by-step -step video of how to do this, please. And my kuleana to that is, you're looking at it. If you do not understand, then that means you must first learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsley, syntax, grammar. You may apply for a workshop at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com or study the 900-ish free videos on this channel. So what I mean by that, folks, and topped G, is that that hour or so video that, that you're commenting on there, uh, how do I create a correct live life claim, that mini class, I tell you how to do it. The only thing I don't tell you is the grammatical uh, sections of it. And the only way to cognize that is to learn the grammar. That is the foundation of everything. That is what comes first and foremost before anything. So I would be happy to tell you everything in minute detail. I will be happy to tell you the postal mechanics. I will be happy to tell you the banking mechanics. I will be happy to tell you the flag mechanics. But first you have to learn the grammar mechanics. And you have to prove to me that you know the grammar mechanics well enough to teach it to another individual, to explain it at least in a rudimentary form to another individual on the spot under duress. Once you do that, I'll be happy to teach you any of those things you want to know about. But the grammar comes first. It always comes first. That's the way it's been for six plus years for me. For safety reasons, I do not put the cart in front of the horse. Have to learn the grammar first. I'll say it till I'm blue in the face. And my face is getting a little blue, so I've said it a lot of freaking times. Thank you for the comment, and I hope you decide to learn this grammar. Because so few people actually possess the gumption to do that. Mm -hmm.